hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's tutorial i have this fall look for you guys it's just an easy easy eyelid using one palette and like three shadows but honestly you guys three shadows sounds like a lot but it was super super easy this lip i just recently purchased you guys will see in the video when i apply it i am in love with this color hopefully you guys like dark lips like i do for the fall because that's probably all i'm going to be wearing this season everything or most of the things that I used in this video are drugstore products. Other than that, it's affordable products. Morphe, I think, is really only the other thing that I used that is high-end. Everything else is pretty much drugstore. So I'll have everything linked down for you guys. Try to get some bomb pictures for you guys to post on my Instagram. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I'll post that here somewhere for you guys to go ahead and follow me. And all my other social medias, I'll have that on here as well. Please go ahead and follow me. If you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so like in my last video, I went ahead and did foundation and brows off camera. I did um, use the same products I used in my previous video. I used my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in shade 108. And for brows, I use the same L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette, which is this one. And then I did um, conceal underneath or like clean up underneath my brows. And I used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand. And that's what I'm going to use for concealer today. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did. I'm going to do this in a triangle shape. forehead, down the nose, and my chin. Then I'm going to grab a Real Techniques sponge and I'm going to go ahead and blend all of that up. I don't know exactly what look I'm going for today. We're just going to go with it. So in this video, I wanted to get out of my comfort zone because as you guys see, my hair is up and I'm showing my ears. That never happens. Um, obviously, if I'm like at home or I'm going to a family member's house or something, yeah, I have it up. But for the most part, that's not me. And I've mentioned it in a previous video. Um, obviously, my ears are a little popped out. I usually say I have big ears, but my sisters are like, they're not big. They're just, you know, slightly popped out. So my ears are slightly popped out and I was, you know, insecure about it for years. But now I'm just like, whatever. I'm getting close to 30 years old. I have three kids. I'm married. Like, what do I have to hide? My husband knows I have big ears. So whatever. Moving on. So I just thought um, I would pick it up because I was filling the big loops today. So yeah, so that's just, it's just. I just picked it up. So now we're going to set everywhere that we just put concealer. And as you guys can see, it's already setting into my lines underneath my eyes. But we'll smooth all that, all that out in a minute and then we'll set it. My setting powder. Today I'm going to use the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Which looks like this. Let me spin it around. Which looks like this. If you're not wanting to go out and spend $30, $40 on a loose powder, then this Airspun one is going to do the exact same thing that the Laura Mercier or any other expensive one would do. So I'm just going to grab a dry Real Techniques brush. I'm going to push that in there. But first, let me grab the sponge that I put my concealer on with and just make sure everything is smooth before I set it. We're going to set everywhere we just put that concealer. Okay, so for eyes, I'm just going to go with it. Just whatever grabs my attention, we're going to go. We're going to do this video. We're going to get it done. I'm going to go in with my Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette. And it's really dirty, you guys, but this is what it looks like. It's really pretty colors. You also have some pop of colors in there just in case, you know, you want something more dramatic. You have your neutrals if you just want a soft eye. You can do any look with this. Honestly, when I went to Mexico... Like, 
a couple months back. Um, this was the only palette that I took with me. It's all I needed because it honestly has everything. So this is what we're gonna dive into today. And let's go ahead and start this eye look. Okay, so going in with my Morphe M433, I'm just gonna go in with this shade here. And we're just gonna add that all over the lid. Honestly, this look isn't gonna be anything where you have to like cut your crease or anything fancy. I'm just doing a simple, easy like eye and then I'm gonna do like a pop of color or like a dark lip. So same thing for the other eye, just add it all over the lid. You can bring it up a little bit. So with that same brush, I'm gonna go in with this shade next to it. And I'm just gonna use that same brush that I used, the Morphe M433. And this one, I'm not gonna take it up as much. I'm gonna focus it more on just the lid. I'm hoping this comes out the way that I want it to because then I just filmed for nothing. But you can just pack that on to be the exact color that you want. Okay, so, so far that's what the lids look like. Again, nothing fancy. This time we're going to go in with a slightly darker shade. We're going to go in with this dark, or this like orangey brown color here. Focus it just on the lid. And this one's just mainly going to be as close as I can get it to the lash line. And you can see I'm just pressing it in. I'm not really like trying to blend or anything. I'm just pushing that product into the lid. You can just go back and kind of blend a little bit, like the edges, because this is pretty much all we're gonna do with the eyes. And I really like this because um, it makes brown eyes stand out and I think it would also make like a green eye pop. So those of you that have green eyes or brown eyes or really light brown eyes, this is going to make your eyes stand out. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe E3 powder brush and I'm just going to wipe off all that powder. We're going to do the exact same thing we did on our lids down at the bottom. So we're going to go back in with this color here. Then we're gonna go back in with that dark orangey brown. Focus that more on just the outer part of your eye. And I'm gonna go in with just a slightly darker color. I'm gonna go in with this shade here. My Morphe E36, which is just like this. I'm gonna go in there with that dark color. I'm gonna focus that just on the outer part of your eye, as close to your lash line as you can. And if you want, you can actually put this close to your lash line and make it look like a liner. And just make sure you push it in as close to you can to your lash line. So that's it for the eyes. Now I'm just gonna move on to mascara. Let me just curl my eyelashes really quick and I'm using my Revlon, I believe it is. Yeah, my Revlon eyelash curler. And I like to squeeze and then kind of pull up. I 
And for mascara, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. And this one, I used it in very black. I like this mascara. The only thing is, I didn't pay attention when I grabbed it, that this one is waterproof. Which is not... Oh, that's my wipe it off while it's still wet. Um, I really, really like it, like how full it makes my lashes look. The only thing is that because it is waterproof, it's hard to get it off when I wash my face at the end of the day. I don't want to struggle that much at the end of the day. So that is my top lashes. I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom ones done. I'm going to go in with my Morphe Bronzer, which is a bronzer and a contour, and this is in the, sh in the color Celebutant, which is in this shade. And I'm just going to go in with my Morphe M523 and just focus that on the outer part of my eye, on the outer part of my cheeks. Underneath your bottom lip to make it look powdier. Sides of my nose. And then all around my face just to frame my face. And give me some life, give me color. Because I'm naturally a darker person, but I feel like I have no color in my face. So now for bronzer, just to blend everything out, I'm gonna go back in with my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And I'm gonna use a Real Techniques um, powder brush. And this one I am gonna bring in for closer to my lip. I like to bring it down on my neck a little bit. Now we're going to go into blush and I'm going to use my MAC blush in the color Sincere, which looks like this. And I'm going to use my Morphe E4. So now we're going to clean up all this mess here on our face and I'm using that same air spun loose powder that I used in the color translucent and if you don't like that sharp line then you don't have to do this you can skip it for highlighter I'm going to take my Maybelline master chrome highlighter in the shade molten gold which you guys can obviously see that I like this color and I use it all the time I'll have everything linked down below in case anyone is interested in it. But I'm just going to take my Morphe M501. Can you guys see that? To be from a drugstore, I mean, hello. My Cupid's bow on my forehead. You guys know I love a highlighter, or a good highlighter. I'm gonna wipe off this powder. And I'm gonna go in with just this e.l.f. 202 brush and I'm just gonna put this in the corner of my eye. Tip of my nose. So now for lips, I recently purchased a liquid lipstick from Morphe and this is what it looks like. It's super dark but I knew that the fall was coming up and I knew that I was going to love it. There it goes. No, there it goes. This one is in the cutter Bloodshot which looks like this. It's actually really, really dark. 
I'm not the best person at swatching, you guys, but that's what that color looks like. And that's because it isn't dry yet. Okay, so I couldn't find the lip liner that I'm wanting, so I'm going to try to do this without a lip liner. Let's pray that everything comes out good. So I went ahead and finished the lip off camera just because I was struggling with it since I don't have a lipstick. But I'm honestly... Dude, I am in love with this color. I think I'm going to be wearing this color a lot in the fall. One final thing before we finish off this look. I'm going to go ahead and set everything so that it can stay all day long. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. This one as well you can get from, from the drugstore. I picked it up at Walmart and it was $9. So shake it up a little bit. And I just go in with the spray. Okay guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys like this look as much as I do. I didn't know what I was going to do today, but I'm pretty excited with how the final look came out. I'm digging this lip. I also got another one of these Morphe liquid lipsticks, and this one is in the color Mood. So I am excited to try to use this one in another tutorial. Um, in today's tutorial, I use the blush lock, which is this dark one. But I'll have everything linked down below in case you guys want to check out any of the products that I used. If there's any other videos for fall or hauls or anything that you guys want to see, Please don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see in upcoming videos. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe down below. Hit that red subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you guys can know when I upload new videos. And you guys can stay up to date with what I am putting up for you guys. This look came out really, really pretty. I might have to wear this when Gio gets back for our date night. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video.